Welcome to a new Alfresco video. We are uh, following with the series Coding with the Half today, with the next chapter, and we are going to create a new Alfresco script root object. So we are on the JavaScript server side API today, and mainly our focus is on deploying an Alfresco repository upon in order to expose some Spring Beans in the JavaScript syntax. So we can use that in our JavaScript uh, scripts in order to, uh, for instance, uh, apply this code uh, to folder rules. So the first thing uh, to know is that we are using this Alfresco JavaScript API. So we are extending this API in order to add a new object, in order to add a new Spring bin. So we can use that uh, in our uh, JavaScript uh, scripts. We are going to use the repo JavaScript root object extension point. So you have all the documentation as always available in docs.alfresco.com. And uh, despite of that, we are provided this Alfresco script root object. This is a sample project that is creating this extension. So the, the first thing to know is that if you want to use an Alfresco repository Spring Bean, remember that Alfresco is deployed by using Spring Beans and these Spring Beans can be uh, accesses or injected in your in your code in your application so you can use this specific uh, syntax that is uh, getting uh, all of the bins with this uh, special packages um, word and you can just select the bin you want to use with the with the type in this case we are using the sys admin params uh, bin and from that you can use it in your uh, JavaScript scripts, right? So this is fine, but we are going to simplify this syntax because of some problem that we are going to uh, demonstrate later, but also to simplify that so you can use directly in your uh, JavaScript code this uh, sysadmin and the method, right? So this is a simplification and also it's related with some security issues that we are going uh, to see during this demonstration. So uh, in order to get this done, we are just using a default uh, Fresco repository in process SDK and we are uh, uh, creating the declaration for this Spring Admin Param script that is a new Spring Bean. So we are just using this implementation for, uh, for this object. We are extending from the base JavaScript extension bin. We are giving a name for that. And we are also injecting some uh, Spring Bean that we want to use, that we want to expose. And on the uh, implementation, we are just extending the, the class and we are exposing some methods. So with that, we have a new add-on uh, ready to be deployed on the repository. So in this case, this is the one we need to copy into a deployment folder. So you can build this project and deploy this one. And from that point, you will be able to use uh, this kind of invocations instead of these ones. Okay, so let's go with the with the demo. I have already deployed uh, my add-on to this uh, Alfresco deployment, and I have two different uh, scripts. So the first one is the one that is using this uh, sysadmin root object that we uh, created with the with the add-on. And the other one is using the old method, like the method uh, using this packages uh, utility in order to get a bin from the uh, Spring context. And we are then uh, just uh, setting this value to the uh, description field on the document. So with that, we can uh, go and create a new folder. And we are going to add some uh, rule to the folder. So let's create the rule again. And the first thing we can test 
is the uh, the spring bin approach. So if we just create the spring bin approach on this test folder, when we upload a new document, something is failing. So what is happening is that package is not allowed to be executed. So we are not able to use this kind of approach when using JavaScript uh, from the server side deploy on this repository folder, right? So for that, we can change the rule. We can uh, move to this other with the root object. And uh, if we make exactly the same test, then it's uh, working as expected. Right, so we are creating a um, JavaScript root object in order to expose some methods that we need to use uh, on a JavaScript uh, script. Right, so on this data dictionary scripts folder is where the scripts are deployed, and just note the difference. So we are using the Spring Bean that is not allowed to be used from this location. And we are uh, creating an alternative approach that is this one. So you can uh, use this uh, method in order to uh, enhance default uh, JavaScript Alfresco um, API. And it will help you also uh, to create, to associate this JavaScript uh, behavior to your rules and, and so on. So uh, again, we created the add-on in order to create a new JavaScript root object uh, today. And I hope that that was useful for you. And without any more to say, yes, see you next time. Bye.